so good morning good afternoon good evening friends today we are going to discuss on most important linux support interview questions and answers so these are most important interview questions asked exclusively for linux operating system i've created video for mac operating system windows support as well this is for linux support so these are mostly and 100% asked interview questions which i have collected from multiple team members uh, who are working in for Linux support. So watch this video till end. If you want interview questions for free of cost, please subscribe the channel, click on bell icon, subscribe the channel. Verification is important because I will verify the subscription and then I will provide you all the interview questions at free of cost. Whether it is L1 interview questions, L2 interview questions, application support interview questions, everything is free of cost for you. Just condition is to subscribe the channel. So let's start with this interview questions. First, how would you check the disk uses on Linux operating system? That is most commonly asked interview question. You can use df command to check disk uses. Here I have given you the example bash df hyphen h. Hyphen h is one of the option in the Unix. So what it does? This command displays the disk uses in human readable format because disk uses is in hexadecimal format always. You require to check it in human readable format. So you can use bash dfh. So bash is the operating system. Bash you, can, you cannot consider the bash, but df is the command and hyphen h is the option. Additionally, to check the dictionary sizes, use du command. Okay. If you require to check the dictionary size, du command and you can give the path of your dictionary uh, directory, directory sizes. It's not dictionary, it's directory sizes. Second is how do you find which processes you is using a specific port? So to find out that you have the net stat command or ss command. And you require to combine that with grape to find out the processes names. Okay. Just like the given example, net stat hyphen t u l n uh, the uh, pipe grape a t. So it will find out all the processes which is using port a t. Okay. Just like that, second example I have given bash ss. Here I have used ss command. Bash you don't consider. Bash is nothing but the operating system of command from which we are using. That is the shell which I am using to execute that commands. Okay. ss dash tuln pipeline operator gray 80. Or to find out the processes using port, use bash lsof. Also, this is also one of the command lsof hyphen i double dot 80 okay next interview question how would you list all active network connections so use net stat and ss command for same net stat hyphen t u l n or ss hyphen t u l n these commands display all active network connections with listening ports okay so these commands will show you all active network connections how do you change the ownership of the file ownership of the file sometimes uh, you will get some request from the user to change the ownership of the file as a supporting engineer which command will you use chown that is important command chown command example chown username double colon group space file name okay if you can give this for the xyz as a file name or example developers file.txt is the file name then it will show you the ownership of that file who is owner of that file or who have created that file or working on the file or edit access of the file okay c h o w n how can you view the contents of large log file effectively use command like less tell and head commands example less command slash vr slash log slash syslogs that is one 
you require to see long large files right always if they, there are errors then you can use that command to continuously view the new entry you can use tell hyphen f hyphen f is the most important option over here and you can give the path of the logs this is most common task linux support engineer needs to do what command would you use to find the file by name in linux use find command for the same if you want the file named name or if you want to find out all txt dot txt files then you can use find slash home in home directory hyphen name name will be in double quote star dot txt so it will show you all the files which is into dot txt format and in home directory what is simple how do you view and set environment variables environment variables is most important part to view the environment variables you can use print env or only env or to set the environment variable you can use export variable name is equal to value to set it permanently add it to bash rc or in dot profile and echo export var name value okay so this command is useful to set the environment variables next is how do you check the memory uses on linux operating system use free command free hyphen h or top command or h top command for real time view you can use top or h top command how do you install a package using package manager on debian based systems like ubuntu use apt command sudo apt update sudo apt install package name that is the correct command on red hat based systems like centos operating system use yum or dnf command sudo yum install package name or sudo dnf install package name so these are few commands which is which are used to install the packages how do you create a symbolic link symbolic link is also important part of linux operating system so use ln command with hyphen s option to create a symbolic links bash ln hyphen s path is the syntax for the same an example bash ln hyphen s slash user slash local slash bin slash python 3 slash user slash bin slash python so these are the symbolic links for python 3 and python these are two uh, directories what is difference between cron and an ana cron cron is used for scheduling tasks that needs to run specific intervals okay it assumes system is always running when you are using cron it assumes system is always running anacron is used for running task intervals but it does not assume the system is always running let's say you shut down the system and uh, let's say your job uh, is scheduled at 12 am okay but tell 12 am your system is shut down you have started the system again at 8 am morning so that job will execute 12 well, am job will execute after your system is start system starts got it how do you display the current user logged into the system simple you can use who command or w command who or w how do you complex or extract the files using tar file extraction is also important because there are big files huge files you require to extract it right to create the complex star ball use tar hyphen czvf archive dot tar dot gx gz slash path slash to slash directory to extract tar xzvf czvf xzvf and archive dot tar dot gz simple what are different run labels in linux and how do you change them run labels define the state of common state of the system common run levels include zero is halt one is single user mode three is multi-user mode without gui 
5 multi user mode with GUI. 6 is reboot to change run level. Use tell telemit or system mctl command. Bash example for the same bash telnet 3 or bash system ctl isolate run level 3 dot target. Okay. You can go through that commands. It will be the practical affair you require to do by yourself. Okay. I've just given the examples. How do you check the status of service? Start, stop, and restart it. Use system ctl for system d based systems. Bash system ctl status service name. System ctl start service name. System CTL stop service name, System CTL restart service name. These are some commands. Example for the same System CTL status NGNX System CTL start NGXL System CTL stop NGXL and NGNX System CTL restart same. Same this means you are restarting, starting, stopping NGINX system. Okay, or service. These questions and answers cover a wide range of topics commonly encountered in Linux support roles. Should provide a solid foundation of the interview preparation. I hope you like this video. I know this video is quite uh, uh, quite uh, uh, explained in the multiple examples. If you are having the uh, your Linux operating system, you can try out that example. If any issues, concerns, you can comment it in the comment box. If you want all these kind of interview questions with application support, production support interview questions, kindly subscribe the channel, click on bell icon and send me the mail on complexscale at gmail.com. So your sending mail is important and subscribing the channel is very, very important over here. I'm doing a lot of hard work, hard work for you guys. So just subscribe the channel that is a small thing small help you can do thanks for staying till end for this video cheers